guys, it's Brennan Kimono. So even before I talk about my empties, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of this beautiful phone case that Shieldin sent me. And um, I just want to show you guys this case. I'm so excited. So here is the box. And um, it comes in this beautiful duster. And the phone case that I have is called the Wallet Folio Case, which is really nice. And it's in a brown leather. Um, just really, really handy little case. I've been using it for two days and I'm very impressed. This, the little slots here, you can put your cards or your coupons in, just a close up of the leather. And you can also prop it up on its side to watch my YouTube videos. How great is that? Um, so guys, Shieldin is offering 10% off. There's a code in the notes if you want to check it out, if you want to pick up one of these phone cases for yourself. And they are very affordable. Um, for a leather case for like $22. I think that's just absolutely winning. So please check them out. All of their info is in the notes. Hey guys, so for this edition of um, empties, we have a huge amount of empties. We have this little container and then that big mama. So I'm just gonna start talking or this is gonna be like a 40 minute video. <laughs> we have Carol's daughter. I have both the shampoo and the conditioner in black vanilla. This was an absolute win for me. Uh, this company is out of New York City and um, just a really splendid little shampoo. Um, and also look at the, um, the pumps. They're really high quality too. I bought this at Walgreens on one of my little coupon adventures and I do give this um, Carol's daughter um, two enthusiastic thumbs up, loved it. Eclair's um, conditioner, I'm going to say this was kind of an epic fail. I had one that was very milky and I think it had spoiled or something so it wasn't as great as I thought it would be. So yeah, I just used a little tiny bit and then I threw it out. Venus Olay Vanilla Cashmere. I'm going to say this wasn't a favorite of mine in the Venus line. I like the Sugarberry Bliss a lot more. This smells a lot like nuts and it's kind of a weird thing to say but it smells like nuts which is weird and i didn't like it product by tony moly it's a shea butter uh this was pretty nice um this was part of a christmas package and i prefer the um the unscented one but this ha also has a nut scent so i guess i'm not too um particular about things that smell like nuts i don't know what it is this uh, cucumber cleanser, it is purchased at a TJ Maxx. It's by this Korean company. I wish I had purchased like five or six of these. These are phenomenal. I absolutely loved it. It really makes your skin in the morning or at nighttime feel very refreshed and I loved this product and I think it was like $2 on a clearance. Arave, um, awesome, awesome, awesome cream. I love it and I used the whole thing. Really love this. I think this was my last one in my stockpile so I'm kind of sad. Aveeno Daily Moisture Body Wash. This one is in the Nourishing Oatmeal scent and this one smells like an oatmeal cookie. So imagine putting a fresh baked oatmeal cookie all over yourself as a body wash in the shower. This is an amazing product. I absolutely love it. This is Mario Badescu's uh, Cucumber Cream Soap. I've had this for a good amount of time so I just thought I would retire it. Um, I like it. I, I like anything in the Mario Badescu line. It's just that I've had this one way, way too long. Um, I did prefer that $2 one that I got from TJ Maxx, um, but this was pretty good too. And now we have a bunch of Bic Sol Soleil uh, razors. I am trying to uh, wean myself off of the Gillette razors. And um, these were pretty nice, believe it or not. I really like them. They gave a very close shave and a uh, very high quality razor. So I was very impressed. And, and I usually don't ever use the Bic razors that I haul for my little couponing adventures, but this one was an absolute home run. Bic Soleil. Now we have the Daily Logical uh, Razor by Rite Aid. This was a fantastic razor. Um, I used it because I was short for a razor one day and I was very impressed. I don't have the head anymore. The one thing is if this thing falls, uh, the razor pops off right away, um, but it was a really great little razor. Biotine, a favorite of mine. I always like this whenever I have um, spicy noodles. It's just a phenomenal little um, mouth rinse. Two toothpaste, uh, we have Colgate Optic White and Sparkling White, and Paradontax. Both of these toothpastes are winners. Uh, this one especially gives you a really deep clean. If you can find this through couponing or you know on clearance at your store, I'd absolutely grab it. This is always a favorite of mine, the Sparkling White. So two winner toothpaste. We have two drinks. We have Hype, which is an energy drink, and we also have Pepsi Fire. This guy was a freebie at Meijer um, a couple weeks ago, and I gotta say, this tastes exactly like Red Bull. I really, really enjoyed this drink. This guy 
Oh my goodness. Um, I had every intention of really liking this drink and I gotta say it was absolutely terrible. It tastes a lot like, um, like an aftertaste of acid after you've thrown up, which I know is too much information. I just did not like the taste. I never got a hint of cinnamon or other flavors or anything like that. It just tasted really harsh. Soft soap hand wash. Um, this guy's kind of interesting. Um, I got this for free with my couponing adventures and um, I used all of it in like a week. So it's a super watered down hand soap in my opinion. I usually like the soft soap line, but I'm going to say this one, not one of my favorites. Um, my husband and I, we used all of it in less than a week. Either that or we had really dirty hands. So this is the Lumine uh, Day and Night Cream. So this is the uh, day one and this is the night one. These are from Finland where they're made. I believe Finland, yeah. And they're supposed to promise a whole bunch of stuff for your skincare and stuff. I didn't really notice it. I used it for two or three months. I got them for clearance out of Rite Aid. Um, it is a nice product, very, very spendy. Like one of these is like 20 bucks. I was really happy to get it for $2. I mean, a nice cream, but did I notice um, all the things that they promise? No. But you know, it's I guess better than not putting cream on your face. And I used all of it and um, yeah, I guess it's okay. I would never spend $20 on this, but to get it on clearance 75% off, it wasn't bad. Now I have the Neutrogena shampoo. Uh, this is always a monthly favorite. I love this shampoo. Um, it's just perfect to really strip your hair and it's an anti-residue shampoo. Um, this is a phenomenal one and I will always buy it. Even if I stop couponing, I would pay $5 for this any day of the week. And two products by John Frieda. These are the um, color shampoos for brunette, and I love both of them. Both uh, smell really, really nice. Uh, they are, I think, about $10 each. I got them for, like, I think possibly free with my couponing. So, you know, nice shampoos. This little guy by Scrubbing Bubbles to put one of these um, smelly discs um, to disinfect and clean your toilet. I really like this product. I got it for free a couple months ago at a Walgreens and um, it's phenomenal and I used all of it. Um, it lasts for about a good week in your toilet if you flush quite a bit. A product that I really enjoy is this Caress Evenly Gorgeous Scrub. It is fantastic. The one complaint I do have about it though is this tip because it is a thicker scrub it tends to get really uh, jammed up in there they used to have a different type of spout but they changed it and this one is not a win i did like open up the container and spill a lot of it um so that kind of sucked but um it's still a wonderful product i just wish they changed that tip to the old one as i don't like this one Two products that my husband loves and he finally went through them the um, listerine coolant this is really really good um mouthwash he's been using it for like the last five years and the Neutrogena rain bath this is a really big um body wash and he just loves it it works really well with his body chemistry and he always smells really good after using this rain bath if i use the rain bath i smell like a straight up guy <laughs> but it's a very masculine scent and he loves it now i purchased this guy um just around easter time um i did have a lot of earwax in my ear this did not work and I could not figure out how to get the wax out of my ear. Um, believe it or not guys, for about a month, so between Easter and Memorial Day, I was deaf in one ear and I finally had to go to the doctor and it was just, um, it's quite the story. You know what? Like this video if you want to hear a story time on this. It has nothing to do with couponing. It might be too much information, but uh, if you guys want to hear a story about how I went deaf and how this is really serious if you have a lot of earwax buildup, um, please like this video and I'll do a story time on this. But anyhow, this, a swing and a miss. Uh, the biggest problem with this product is this little syringe ear washer thing. It was tiny and you need something with a lot more power to blast all the earwax out of your ear. So anyhow, this was $6 with my gold discount and it was $6 wasted. I feel sad whenever I have like a Christmas scent in my pantry and I'm spraying it. This Cranberry Air Effects, um, there's still a little bit left in here and this is quite wasteful of me, but it's the middle of summer, it's not Christmas, so I'm just gonna be throwing this guy out. I found that it didn't really have too much of a throw for the scent. It, it just smelled good for like about four seconds and then it just didn't have the Febreze, um, you know, where it would smell up the room really nice. It just, I don't know. My house certainly didn't smell like this uh, lodge with the snow on top and it just was more like, you know, 
that for two seconds. I used this all of one time and um, it just did not make me feel refreshed. I went out on a day where it was like really, really hot and this did not work for me, sadly. This guy, the Airwick Pure, I find that this does not spray very well. I'll give you guys a demonstration. <laughs> what was that? And it also doesn't smell all that great. It doesn't smell like a lilac field. Um, so yeah, a swing and a miss. This guy, um, Act Advanced Care, I had this for a couple days in my bathroom, and then I realized my, my teeth didn't feel very clean, and then I come to realize this is alcohol-free. I like um, mouthwashes with alcohol, it just has more of a bite to it, where your teeth feel really clean, so um, this was sadly uh, kind of a fail for me. A product that I always love is this Pond's um, Skin Cream for dry skin. Um, Every, every time I do one of these videos, I seem to kill one of these containers. This is really nice to put on your skin at nighttime or, you know, if it's really dry. It's just a really solid product in my opinion. I do love this. And it's also scent free. It doesn't have a heavy perfume on it. So right before bed, if you want to just put some cream on your face and not feel like you're wearing, you know, perfume, this is a win in my opinion. Dove. Um, a product that I absolutely love. I've killed, I think, two or three of these since the winter time, and this is just a really great deodorant. I think I got this guy for maybe like 40 cents at a Rite Aid last winter, so I wish I had more of those coupons as it's a really phenomenal deodorant. I'm a nighttime grinder, so this thing is phenomenal. You get them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. It is a very reasonably priced over there. I love this product. And the great thing is, unlike a bite guard that you have from the dentist office, you can throw this thing out after a couple uses. And that was always my complaint with getting one at the dental office, one of the professional bite guards, is that it always tasted terrible. And even if I disinfected it with like a denture tab or mouthwash, it just would always taste really gross. But this guy, I can use it for a couple nights and then just throw it out and it does the exact same job. I do love this product. Since I was really small, I've always had a problem with going to sleep. Um, I think I have just a very hyperactive brain. And this is one product that I use um, every night. I try to switch it up, uh, the different pharmacies for the blends, but this Walsam one I've been using for like the last six months and uh, no complaints from me. I really like the sleeping um, pill and it really helps for me to get to sleep at nighttime. The Vino Daily Moisture Lotion. I think I got this a couple months ago at a Walmart and uh, this is a tiny little container. So this, the only complaint is that there was so tiny it like within two days I killed it. So, but you know, really nice. We have the Revlon uh, Volume Length Mascara. This guy was a win. I really enjoyed him and I just finished him up this month. And the final item is this little uh, foundation sponge by Maybelline. Um, it's like a mushroom sponge and you're supposed to like, let's see what's inside. I can't even rip it apart. Um, I'm going to say I prefer a traditional beauty blender. This guy was a swing and a miss for me. So yeah. So that's it for my empties, guys. If you might have a favorite in this mix or if one of these products might work for you, but not so much for me, please let me know in the notes and I will see you in my next video. Bye.